This video is about linear fitting with views. First, in order to create the graph, we will import the data. To import the data, we have to click data and import. Otherwise, the same can be done using this toolbar option which says import data into views. By clicking this, we have to select either standard or CSV file works. So I will browse. I created a file called as Cauchy's constant with extension CSV. I'll click open. You can see that I have the data. I can choose a header but here I did not have so I'll just say none. Otherwise you can always choose header to be your first row. Let us select whatever we want to import. So here I have these four points and I'll click import and close. So now we have done the importing of the data. Now we need a scattered plot. So for that we will need, we'll click on insert and we will say add xy. So we will see one xy tab coming here and we will select x as column 1 and y as column so these are our four points. Now we need to rescale it. For rescaling we will go to x and y axis and its properties. So minimum and maximum first was auto. So now we would like to change it to let's say I make it to zero. And maximum as one. Actually that's very small. So we will have to write 0, 2 into e raised to 12. And here we will write our last data is our last data is 6 into 10 raised to 12. So we can do it 7 into 10 raised to 12. Similarly now we will edit y data so for editing y data we will click on y we go to its properties and here it is starting from 1.5 so my minimum I am choosing as 1.5 and maximum as 1.6 6 is too high let us take it as it's a hypothetical data it's not a true recordings even 5 will work and done. So here we have 1 by lambda square on x axis and refractive index on y axis. So let us quickly label it. Select x properties. Now x here is 1 by lambda square. So actually it takes latex command. So we can write 1 by lambda raised to 2 if you want to write unit also that can also be written so unit is m raised to minus 2 for y axis label is reflective index if we want to change its properties that also we can change so we have font style if I want so Arial black similarly we can change properties for X as well so go to properties, formatting and instead of times new roman, now we will choose Arial. Instead of times new roman, we will choose Arial black. This is done. Now we need to add linear fit to this. So select this scattered plot. For this scattered plot also, 
we can change formatting so instead of circle if i want a diamond shape you can increase the size of this you can give it different different colors can hide and hide these are marker borders so here we have border which is black so here in color we can also take it as transparent so those will become open symbols and so we can increase now since we don't need this trend line so let us first remove this select this xy and now there are two ways to do it either click on insert and do add fit or you can do from this uh, toolbar using this fit a function to data but once you do that click on this and go to properties let us select our x data is column 1 y data is column 2 we want to fit the range only we don't have any output label and key text we want to say linear fit and let us fit so it has given us a straight line fit with the values a i want to keep looking at that console window so this is our result a equals 1.48 plus minus this value b e raised to minus 15 range plus minus value again and chi square is also given add key and we have this linear fit and i want to indicate that this open diamond is our data point so we will click on this go to its formatting sorry properties and here yeah key text so here we will write experimental date just come if you feel that let me just see like this key then only it will move if you feel that this line is very thin then because it's a linear fit line we have to go in its formatting and we can change the thickness of the line so let us choose it as one and color also we can give so let us choose it as red so in order to save it we will have to click on file export and export this current page as jpg and i want to have 300 dpi and let us call it cochis constant plot so i will just say cochis you can also choose where to save this so just browse click on desktop let's say i am saving it here and export you have to close it because once it's done it does not automatically get closed so let me go to so let me go to desktop and here is my this is our jpg file which you can insert anywhere thank you